I personally prefer you put any dots over here. Lah. So I'll put one dot over here, you know, like the base C that I mentioned, you correct, correct, and you paste. Uh, so you paste it over here. See that or not? The dot. Hello everybody, Liangjun Mathematics here. The previous video we talked about construction on the angles, right? So what are the angles that we covered? We covered like perpendicular bisector, which is 90 degrees. We covered 60 degrees, 120 degrees. We covered another very important one called angle bisector. Yeah, that's that, that's the thing that we covered on the previous video. Lah. So today we're going to talk about what? Whoa, today, right? A bit different. Huh? This construction, uh, let me write it nicely, beautifully for you. This construction today, right? It's on parallel. I don't know how you pronounce it lah, because I see like so many different pronunciation way. So we will, I will just name it as parallel, okay? Parallel. So I put line or maybe lines, it depends on situation now, okay? So in these parallel lines, right, I will be discussing or maybe present the drawing to you in two different ways, okay? So what are the two different ways? So number one, I have the low level way. Low level way as in what, you know, as in, I don't know lah, some, some students, right, they say, teacher, the way you teach me in textbook, right, my, my teacher taught me another way faster. Uh, so can I use that? Uh, okay, so I will use, I will do that for you lah. So this is like sort of the like cheating way. Cheating way is as in, as in not so textbook way lah, the cheating way. So I'm not so, it's, it's not like super recommended lah. So if let's say your teacher allowed, then maybe you can use it because it's fast. Okay, then the second way, what can we do? The second way, we can use the textbook way, which is, I think this is the, not to say the best way, it, it's a bit complicated now, you know, I mean, it's in this textbook way, but it's the strongly recommended one. So I put like this hand here with muscle, uh, strongly recommended. Uh, this one is the best one. Uh. So so there's two things that I have to discuss for you. And of course, uh, in these parallel lines, right, it applies uh, not only in your form, form one, lines and angles topic, it applies in your uh, form 3, locus chapter as well. Okay, so these loci in two dimensions, right? Uh, so you need parallel lines as well. Okay, so um, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So let me take this away. And now I designed some, designed some question for you to look at it. Okay, first of all, so I'm going to draw like one line segment. Okay, one line segment. Uh, so this line segment go this way. La. So I'm using this uh, tri uh, the, the, this like ruler to perform a, tri uh, a, a line segment. So let's say this line segment random one, uh, no specific measurements there. So this is going to be your your A and this is going to be my B. Okay, so there's like uh, one line there. So I'm going to perform like one parallel. So the very low level way now. So the low level way. Uh, Low level way, very simple, but of course I have to describe a bit on what was the uh, what was the specific question on what they want. Oh my level, oops, yeah. Now so this low level way, right? Okay, first of all, I need to perform like parallel lines above and below my line segment AB. So as you can see, AB I didn't put A and B because A and B will be two different points. So I put AB. So it means uh, it's gonna be two cm above. So student will say, teacher, can I use like my ruler and I put it put it nicely like this or not? Uh, then after that I put like one dot there, so it becomes two cm. Then after that I count this one four cm, I put that like this. Of course cannot lah. Okay, this one is like not the proper way to do it. Then student will say, teacher, I do one more time over here, cannot. Don't do that lah. Because you will say like teacher, there's two dots here, so I can have like one direction to draw one straight lines. Basically the idea go that way, so I'm gonna show you how. Now, so this is what student taught me, you know. He said that, teacher, this one, oh, my school teacher do this way, or oh, don't know, maybe uh, maybe can use that. Okay, why not? I show everybody. Lah. So as you can see over here, right, in my ruler, okay, I, I need to measure my 2cm. Okay, so I'm going to put here parallel lines above, below, AB, and it's 2cm. Okay, 2cm above and at the bottom. Ah. So, so I'm going to use my ruler and measure the 2cm. So over here is my 0, and I'll open up to 2cm. So yes, I get my 2cm ready, so that's my uh, pencil, okay, pencil with my 2cm. So make sure your pencil is sharp enough, okay, sharp enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it because this one is like not sharp enough. So I'm going to use this, ping, you see, super sharp. So I'm going to put it inside, okay, turn it nicely, you see, so just nice. Ah, okay, so I'm going to open up, okay, measure again, sorry. Measure again, make sure sharp enough, uh, your pencil, sharp enough. Okay, I'm going to open up again, so here, ping. 2cm. Nice. Okay. So this white pen, you go to A and B because there's two dots right there, right? So you see, ah, uh, you poke on B. You cross like one up above. 
Okay, one up above. So on the previous question, I did mention that this is how I hold my compass. So some of you might, might hold on the tip above. So it depends on you. La. Make sure it's comfortable enough. Okay, so you like. La, you like. Okay, so that's, they, they won't test you like, oh, you're going to draw in front of me. I'm going to see how you draw it. Then I give you marks on that. Come on. No. La. So it depends on how you want to uh, hold it in a comfortable way. La. So yes, I get my 2CM there already. Okay, as you can see that. So nicely on my A pointer. Okay, like real nice on so poke okay poke okay one up above and at the bottom okay as you can see i just hold it hold it nicely now so next uh, these students say teacher eh? you see these two highest tip there and just connect i'm like okay what okay you want to do that if i say the teacher allow then you do lah but again are uh, not recommended so make sure it's like just nice that you hit the highest tip above highest tip above uh, then you draw lines so student will say teacher this one 2cm ready lor. so I'm like okay but anyhow I repeat okay repeat 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 again uh. this is not recommended okay not recommended just in case your teacher mention oh this one okay uh. Uh, then you follow lor. Uh, because I did see lah okay some, some students do it that way then I ask then they say teacher can uh. Uh, depends on teacher lah. So now this is the low level way again. If your teacher allowed use it, okay, the cheating way. Uh, so that's not the proper way from textbook. Huh? So I'm gonna do the textbook way, guys. So textbook. So I'm gonna turn around, okay, and I will draw the same line. And now the textbook way comes in. So this is the proper one, the textbook way. Ah, the textbook way. So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure school teacher they will mention this way on. Right? Ah, so this is the, the not to say the best way lah, okay? The 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 the, the textbook, okay, like hundred percent approved one. So that's my A B random one, random line segment. This is one line segment, uh, in case you all don't know, line segment. So after I have this A B right, nah, the correct way comes in. You need to perform this thing called the perpendicular way. Where you have you you can refer to my previous video okay now how do i perform this uh, perpendicular okay now everyone follow the steps are uh. step number one you will need to simply just put a dot over here in in case you want to put like a, a and b also can but i personally prefer you put any dots over here lah. so i'll put one dot over here you know like the base that i mentioned you correct correct and you paste uh, so you paste it over here see that not the dot so now i'm gonna draw like one perpendicular so i poke on the base you see that not the point there that i simply randomly poke on uh. so i draw one protection barrier on the left and right the usual perpendicular uh drawing that i mentioned to you everybody right so i'm gonna poke nicely ah uh, you see the protection barrier there already not so i'm gonna cover the top uh, the, the 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 above and the top as well so you see i open up see you not Ah, so that's called full length drawing, remember? Ah, so full length drawing or maybe you just make it like more than half also can. Right? So I will use like full length. Lah. In case you all don't know what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to say again, uh, everyone. I'm doing a set of parallel lines above and below AB, which is always 2CM. So it's the same question like the previous one. Okay, it's just that now I'm using the textbook way, the recommended, sure, correct. 100% okay one, ah, that method that I want to tell. Uh. So now, I will connect them together. So you notice, I perform one perpendicular, right? Okay, so this is my 90 degree lines. Okay now, so I'm going to write the steps over here, so in case you all need it. So step number one, you put one point there, okay, a random point. Uh. A random point, you see that, right? So you see my random point here, not? Ah, this random point. Eh, so this one step one, so I put that step one. Okay, step one. Huh? So then we have our step two. Okay, so what's step two? Step two, you're going to perform like your perpendicular bisector. Uh, so I just put perpendicular, the 90 degrees. Huh? And this perpendicular must pass through. Okay, PT mean pass through. Huh? Pass through what? Pass through the random point. Uh, pass through the random point. You see that, right? You see my random point here? Uh, I see pass through one. Nice. Okay, now huh, because I said, huh, I'm going to perform right. I'm going to perform like parallel above and at the bottom, right? right? So now, you cannot use your ruler and just uh, measure 2cm1, you know. So, like, as usual, you're going to take your what? You're going to take your ruler and you're going to take that 2cm. Everybody can, can hear the raining sound, not? 
Ah, now see two cm. So that okay now the two cm you poke on the PC, you see, play with the PC, then you cross above. Wow, two cm here already. Then you cross another one over here. Ah, see that. Then student will say, teacher, wait, got two cm already. Can I take the ruler and put it over there and draw lines? Can I? Because your ruler might sang it. How do you know you 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 are drawing like one parallel? Maybe it sang it a bit, right? You cannot feel it only, right? No? You cannot do that. So what you need to do? You need to perform what? Now let me show you. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a total of three perpendiculars. You're gonna turn around and do one perpendicular here. Ah, so this textbook way, right? To be exact, lah, huh? To be exact, the three pace way. The three pace way. Ah, uh, see, pace number one is over here, right? The random points. Uh, pace means the one I correct, correct, and pace here. So now, can you see the pace is like one? Over here and the other one over here already. So you see what I do, ah? Uh? You see what I do, ah? Uh? I'm, I'm not gonna turn my paper around. So if let's say you want to do it like properly, uh, you can turn around and perform it. So it will be easier for you to view it, lah. Uh? So I will, I will just do it in in this format, okay? In this format. So now everyone perpendicular on this one and this one. I'm doing the same same perpendicular like what I did just now, you know. Now now just now it's like vertical version one, you know. So now it's gonna be horizontal, horizontal. So step number three, ah. Uh? Step number three. Perpendicular times two, yeah. Perpendicular times two, where, okay, on this point and this point, so that the perpendicular is straight enough to get the parallel. Yeah. So I'm gonna poke. Oops. So I'm gonna poke here. Poke here. So open up random, you know. So like what I mentioned, the PC, you're gonna protect it, right? You're gonna protect. Uh, so you're gonna open up any random one. Uh. So up to you lah. So let's say I open up this big. So I will just cross like one over here. One over here, then turn around, then one above. You see or not? So now, okay, now I'm gonna open up. Ping, you see, open up full length drawing. Saw that full length drawing, or maybe more than half, like, depends. Huh? So let's say I'm using full length. Great. So I will draw like left and right. You see or not? Left and right. So you just hold your compass in the most comfortable way. Like, you like it. Uh, they won't test you like how you how you how you hold your compass, uh, then they rate, rate you on that. No lah. Okay, so you see one over here and one the other side. You see, I'm doing perpendicular like the second time, but now it's now it's what now it's horizontal version one, just now vertical, right? Now. So I will take my ruler and connect it. So you see, you have three points to allow yourself to get a parallel. You see that not? So this is parallel to the original line segment, and we're gonna draw another one. Chante already, I tell you, you see. So you do that uh, another one one more time lah. So everyone, if let's say you are you are watching this video right, please do it together with me. Take a piece of paper and do it together. Ah, so by the way, this A B is like random lines ah. Okay, so over here I'm gonna draw another one uh, for for the for the so called third one. You see one over here, then the other two over here, right? Ah, wait, sorry ah. So just now I didn't do like the, the step two there. So this one is a step two lah. Okay, step one, step two over here, right? Step one, step two. Step two is that perpendicular lah. Now after that, the two perpendicular step three. You see, step three, step three, and now step three. I'm gonna do it one more time. Right now, so I poke on the PC again, but this PC is like uh one line. You can see that. <laughs> so I just open up. Okay, try not to go further than the line segment uh, because uh it might confuse you uh, So roughly this this bit can really. Okay, not too small, everyone. You see, roughly your finger size can really. Uh, but my finger is like quite big lah. Uh, so maybe you open up bigger than your finger. Okay, so. Cross like here and there, okay. Here one, you see, I'm protecting the PC again, you know. You see left and right, right? Uh, my hand bit cha uh. so you just draw it nicely. So you see the protection barrier there already, so open up the compass. Hey, then you poke on the two side, draw full length, lah. Uh, recommended full length, more than half also can, right? Remember that, uh, so you just open up full length, lah, uh, so easier to draw. So let's say I open up full length like this, okay. So I just draw left and right. Re left, 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 and right, right, right. Turn around, poke another side. Okay, the protection barrier. So you cross like over here and the other side. Ah, uh, see the other side. I didn't close it at all, you know. So I'm using the original length. Huh? So I, once I get the two arcs, uh, the intersection, right? So I'm gonna take my ruler again, and of course my pencil to connect them. You see, wow, three points, ah, kasi chante chante one. You see not. Draw line. Wow, perfect. Ooh. So you see that line, right? Ah, uh, then after that you get your parallel. Lah. 
So this is how I draw the perfect way. Okay, the textbook way. The three pacey way. You see the three pacey or not? Ah, then see. Pacey number one. The two extra pacey over here, which it indicates the 2cm there, right? Ah, so you get the 2cm parallel already. So everyone, okay or not? So, um, I'm going to stop here. Okay, you can try it up. So once you try already, you want to you wanna show me, right? Just go my Instagram, snap a picture and send to me and say, Teacher, I got it as well. Thanks. Ah, then can radio. Bye.